Thank you. So hello again, everyone, and uh, welcome to the pre-graduation webinar. Um, as I said earlier, um, if you join the call, please keep your microphone um, on mute, and uh, we're going to start our presentation now. So um, before, right, let me click the, right, so many congratulations, and um, you did it, well done. And my name is Yi Yi, I'm from Alumni Relations team, um, and uh, my role is Young Alumni Engagement Officer. So what I do is specifically I look after and support student and recent graduates at, like you guys. And um, also I work on you know graduations and also young alumni related events. So um, you're probably gonna you know like receive some email from me as well. So and uh, we have Caroline from our team on call. I'll I'll let like Caroline to introduce herself and say hi to everyone. Hi everyone. Uh, lovely to yeah chat with you all today. We're really looking forward to welcoming you to Liverpool. Um, my name, yeah, as it says up there, sorry, my name's Caroline, I'm um, Head of Alumni Engagement, so really looking forward to welcoming you and having you all as part of our alumni community and hopefully keeping get in touch with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. And we also um, probably have like people from student admin team on the call, and um, um, if you have any questions, they're here for, you know, to help. So um, then is the agenda of today's webinar. So we're gonna cover a couple of areas. So the first area we're gonna talk about alumni networks, and then I'm gonna share about what kind of benefit you can get from you know, the community. And also, and then I'll hand it over to Caroline to talk about you know, the city life in Liverpool, introduce a bit more about Liverpool. Hope you find this helpful you know, in terms of um, planning the trip to Liverpool. And then it's well back to me to talk about your big day, the graduation day. And then they'll talk about how to stay in touch with us, with the university and with your fellow graduates. Um, but also um, at the end of the presentation, I know you probably got a lot of questions that you wanna ask. So um, we're gonna go through the questions after the, my presentation. So if you have any question, feel free to just pop um, your question in the chat box and we're gonna go through this afterwards. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna talk about the network. So graduation doesn't really mean the end, you know, it's just the beginning of your new chapter. And um, I know you're gonna have your graduation in a couple of days, you know, um, but you are technically, you are part, you're already part of the our alumni networks. So we currently have more than 280,000 alumni around the world. And um, our network is really vibrant, um, including inside UK, but also outside of the UK. So as you can see from the slides, we got a lot of like um, quite big clutters around the world. So for example, like our US network, network in China, in India, um, in Europe, and also in Nigeria. So um, you can join like one of these network based on, you know, where you are um, and uh, what, where you work, you know, where you're based in. Um, but also we have some other type of networks. So that will help you to connect with your schools. So those kind of academic networks so include, for example, vet, vet school, medics, law, dentistry and the management school. Um, so, um, and also we have another type of um, network called parents and supporters. So this is specifically for your parents um, and, uh, to join um, the network. So um, it's quite lovely. So if you want to stay connected with everyone, please join the network. And um, also you need to create your alumni account. I will talk about like how to create alumni account by the end of the presentation. I won't forget this. I'll come back to this. Um, very soon. Um, so um, for, you know, keeping the network, we also have a lot of like in-person event in different countries. So um, you will be able to see, you know, like some of our stuff to coming over to um, your country. And also, um, for example, you may be able to see the VC from the school and also, you know, some senior leadership from the university as well. So it's going to be really lovely to have you be part of the networks. And then I'm going to talk about um, the discounts and um, um, the resources that you can get as part of the community. So on the slides, you will be able to see there's a couple of tabs of discounts. 
So I'll go through them one by one. The first one is laser discount. So this is including, for example, you can have a special offer to book a hotel, um, especially, for example, if you plan to um, come to Liverpool and um, you will be able to, you know, like uh, book some hotels to by using the discount code. Um, for example, you can use the discount code for living in um, Hilton Hotel or, you know, like um, Hope Street Hotel as well. Um, and then the second type of discount you can get is study. So um, if you consider to continue study at the university, for example, you want to do another master's or you want to do um, a PhD, you will be able to get a discount of your tuition fee. Um, but also you have this kind of like um, study um, resources as well. So after your graduation, you still can have um, access to the digital libraries, um, but you need to apply this um, via the library team. So they will be able to, to give you the access and that means you will be able to continue read the academic books or, you know, like the journal articles, you know, from our library. Um, and um, the third type of discount you can get is professional discount and resources. So this is specifically for those who um, want to relocate themselves in Liverpool or who come to Liverpool to work and you can book a working space at a census city. Um, and then is the online shops. We got like um, a couple of online shops, for example, the VGM shop and also the Student Guild shop. Um, I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm a really big fan of, you know, the university merchandise. So um, you can get a hoodie or you, a mug from the shops, but also those shops have like physical ones. So um, if you plan to visit university, um, you can go to the shops and grab, you know, some souvenir for yourself or for your family and friends. Um, the next, the last one is the most important one that I want to highlight here. So um, this is you can get, you can have access to your official documents. So those do the documents means like um, your certificate or you know your uh, transactions. So. Um, don't forget to, in terms of having this access, so don't forget to um, sign up for the graduate document portal. So then you will be able to access your digital certificate and higher education achievement report. So there's like two scenarios when you need these documents. The first one is, for example, you can order a replacement of your degree. And the second scenario is like, if you can't make um, the graduation ceremony, you can order um, your certificate and uh, the university can help to uh, deliver this to your home address. So please make sure you have the access. And then um, the third type of benefit you can get from our team is the newsletters and the magazines. So for the newsletters, we do like a monthly newsletter and send to all of our, of our alumni. So this including, you know, um, feature the latest university news and also the update from research and um, some lovely story from our fellow alumni. But also we do annual magazines. So this magazine is like um, including some in-depth um, interviews with our outstanding alumni, but also this feature a really lovely um, um, part called um, class notes. So this is relevant to everyone. You can share um, your story and your updates with others. Um, so um, it's, it's really lovely. And on the right hand of the slides, you can see the, scan, uh, the QR code. If you scan the the QR code, you will be able to see the latest issue um, of our magazine. So this year we went all digital and the magazine looks fantastic. So um, I highly recommend you to have a read. Next one, I'm going to talk about alumni related events. As I mentioned earlier, we do have a lot of like in-person events that, for example, to network, for you to reunion, uh, to reconnect with your um, fellow classmates or, you know, um, your peers. But also we have a lot of like um, lovely online event series. So um, I put a screenshot here so you will be able to see a different series. So if you're interested in science, um, you can sign up for Science in the Snark. 
and uh, or if you want to develop your career, for example, you're at your early uh, stage of your career, and I think bringing the work to Liverpool, a career-related events, that's something that you're probably going to be interested in. And also, if you want to hear some, you know, fantastic story from our high-profile alumni, um, how they achieved the, you know, like um, their um, uh, career development, um, the Liverpool leaders is the one that. Um, you probably can want to have a have a look. Um, so, and also I put a website link here, so you will be able to um, check the more information. And then is volunteering. So we have plenty of opportunities for you to, you know, um, volunteer your time, contribute um, to the, the community. So I put a couple of like ways to do it. Um, for example, you can become a alumni ambassador. So this is to help us, you know, organize in-person event in your country to help, you know, like um, the graduates from your country to connect it with each other. Um, but also you can advertise um, graduate placement opportunities on your, for example, social media channel, LinkedIn um, channel, or, you know, share this opportunity with your friends um, or um, join, um, you know, be part of our Live Uni Mentor Scheme. So this is like you can become a mentor and give um, professional advice to our current student, or you can speak at an event and, uh, or, you know, even become a school governor. So, but also you can submit your alumni um, profile. So this is like um, to give us, to let us know about you and your time at the university and then we'll be able to do a case study of you or your, or, you know, like um, if there are some upcoming events that are relevant to your area, we may invite you to the event or ask you to be a speaker. So this is about the volunteering. And then we're going to talk about our management school network. So I'll hand it over to Caroline to talk about this. So hi again. Um, so for those of you who've joined the call today who are graduating from the management school, it's just to let you know that we do have a dedicated alumni engagement team there. So Lisa looks after our postgraduate programmes and Sam our undergraduate programmes. Um, so yeah, you'll receive um, emails um, from them both. Um, so they have like dedicated newsletters, um, professional online events and podcasts. You can also scan the QR code on the screen now to join uh, their alumni network which is available on LinkedIn um, but yeah do look out for contact from them and ways to volunteer and get involved within the school. Uh, Lisa and Sam will also be um, at the graduation reception which will take place for management school students on Monday the 9th of December at 3 till 5 p.m. So do come along and say hello to them both. Um, for those of you joining calls uh, from other schools we will send out um, further information from the school about different receptions uh, that you can join when you've come to for your graduation. Um, so the next slide will now talk a little bit about um, visiting the city of Liverpool. So here in Liverpool, everyone's really excited and looking forward to welcoming new um, <clears throat> graduates of our city's university to um, our city. We're often voted as one of the UK's friendliest cities as well. So we hope that you all have a lovely experience if you've not managed to um, visit the city before. We have a really vibrant nightlife, um, lots of museums and galleries. <clears throat> In fact, we have more museums and galleries and theatres than any city outside of London. So do make the most of your visit here. Um, it's lovely to walk around the Albert Dock. Um, there's Christmas markets. Um, there's a large Christmas tree up out in Church Street so do feel free to yeah, enjoy what the city has to offer. Um, I would recommend visiting visitliverpool.com, the website that um, is on the left of the screen. They have lots of like blogs, what's on in the city in terms of especially in the theatre events or anything that's happening during your visit so um, it's definitely um, a recommendation from us to um, have a little look at that. I did look at last night and there's a checklist for the top 25 activities to do over Christmas. So um, it's definitely a worthwhile resource for you all. And then on the next slide now, please, there's um, a little bit of information about traveling to the city of Liverpool. So we are really accessible um, for the university. So there is Liverpool Airport, which is about a 20, 30 minute taxi ride away. 
Um, and then there's also Manchester Airport, which is around 45 minutes away by taxi or an hour on the train. And they do have direct link um, on the train from Manchester Airport to Liverpool Lime Street. So Liverpool Lime Street is just a 10 minute walk from the university. Um, it is uphill. And quite often, you know, the weather is bad, but there's a taxi rank there. So, you know, do feel free to, <clears throat> um, yeah, use the taxis from there to, um, it's quite accessible. And then um, there's campus maps as well that you can, available on our website. Um, and yeah, and then nationalrail.co.uk, we'd recommend for um, visiting the city too. Um, and also, if you're enjoying any of the sites, the university is really accessible. Um, you can walk around Liverpool quite easily. So, um, yeah, definitely make the most of what the city has to offer during your visit. Um, and then if you haven't booked your accommodation, um, whether it's Airbnb or one of our local hotels, um, there's some web links there. And we'll share these in the chat with you all, too. And as we mentioned earlier, you can um, <clears throat> get discounts on hotels. So you can email the alumni team on alumni at liverpool.ac.uk and we can share that, the discounts with you. Um, we'll also share these slides with you afterwards as well, so that you can take a note of the numbers and the links. Um, and I'll now pass you back to Yee. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. Um, I'm going to continue to... So now I'm going to talk about graduation day, your big day. And uh, before I talk about everything, just want to highlight, please, please make sure you have passed all your exam and you are officially eligible for the graduation. And because uh, sometimes, uh, you know, like um, even though you didn't pass the exam, you may still receive the invitation for graduation. So please make sure um, you are eligible for the ceremony. Um, and um, now I'm going to share some locations. So um, don't worry about this. Um, I'm going to mention about the addresses in the following slides again. So um, all the ceremony will take place in Liverpool Philharmonic Hall. So this is not really far away from the main um, campus. Um, and then it is um, to collect your tickets, certificates, or, you know, get dressed in your graduation gown, and you need to go to student uh, the sports centre. Um, and then it's for the graduation photography. So if you book one, you need to go to Montfort Hall, which is in the student guild. And um, live streaming, for example, like if you have a big family, big group with coming with you and um, they can watch the ceremony, you know, in live streaming the ceremony. So this happened in the Student Guild as well, but in different rooms. So it's mainly in the Stanley Theatre and also in the courtyard. Um, and once the ceremony finish and you need to return your graduation gown back to the Student Guild. OK, um, now I'm going to talk about what gonna happen before your ceremony and what you need to do. So um, before the ceremony, please make sure you arrived at least two hours before your ceremony. So this will give you enough time to collect um, the items that you need. Um, for example, if, if your graduation is scheduled at 10 a.m. in the morning and you need to arrive at least at 8, um, 8 a.m. in the morning, or if you have a graduation ceremony at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, you need to arrive around 2 p.m. So, um, so everything, so before the collecting um, the your tickets, your um, graduation brochure, certificates, and also get dressed, that all those things happened in the sport center, as I mentioned earlier. So this is in the sport hall on the ground floor, and you can see the address and postcode on the slats. Um, and uh, so what's gonna happen within the sport hall is, um, first of all, you're gonna um, get dressed in your graduation gown. So we have um, our graduation gown provider to help you to get dressed and also to make sure you look smart on the day. And uh, once you get dressed, please stay in the same place, same hall, and heading to 
the, the back of the spot hall, you will be able to see um, a couple of tables over there. So the first the table we're going to be, you know, like our alumni relations team. So we're going to be there to hand out a alumni top bags. So within this bag, you will be able to have a graduation brochure. So you will need this brochure for the ceremony. And then you have a pin badge and some freebies from us. Um, and then you had to the next table, which is a student admin team. So you will be able to collect your tickets and certificates. So um, no need to give them an email or anything. You can just give them your surname and our staff members will be able to help you to find your documents. And um, also we have a help desk over there. So if you want to ha have like an extra tickets or if you have any questions, you can go there to ask. Um, and before you leave a spot center, please make sure you have all the atom I mentioned earlier um, with you. And these are something that you need um, um, for your ceremony. And then is uh, the graduation photography. So as I said earlier, the photography will take, in pla will take place in the Montfort, um, the student guild. Um, but normally the queue is quite long, so you probably need to wait for a bit. But if you don't have enough time before your ceremony, you can double check with you know the staff over there and to check about their closing time because you can come back after your ceremony to have your photography. So don't worry about this. Um, and then it's going to be um, the ceremony, actual ceremony. So all the ceremony are taking place at Liverpool Philharmonic Hall. So this is on um, Hope Street, which is around 10 minutes walking from the spot centre. So not really far away. And um, but please make sure you arrived um, at least 45 minutes before because um, the doors will open an hour before. Um, and also you need enough time for, you know, the security check or, you know, to find your seat as well. Um, so when it's your turn, you know, to go on the stage, you will be directed by um, one of the staff members um, to the side of the stage. And um, you will need to give your name to the officer and then um, follow their um, instructions to proceed on the stage. So after being admitted, you should keep uh, keep walking across the, uh, the the stage and then to go back to your seat. But don't worry about this. We have like ushers to direct you to back to your um, seat. And um, the ceremony often lasts around um, 90 minutes, including um, sp uh, speeches. So, um, but it's always like really, really lovely. So I hope you're going to enjoy your ceremony. So the next one um, I want to talk about is how to stay connected with us. Um, I'm not really sure how many of you know this or not. Um, so your student email addresses will uh, expire after graduation, normally after like um, three months. So if you want to back up your emails, you know, between you and your supervisor or you and your peers, please do it now. Um, and um, also, in terms of the reason why I mentioned this is because you need to provide an email address in terms of, you know, create, creating your alumni account. So um, I put a QR code on the right hand side of this slide. You can scan the QR code and fill in the form and to create your alumni account. Um, but please give us a personal, valid personal email address. So then you will be able to receive the newsletter, um, event invitation, and also um, the magazine that I mentioned earlier. Um, and uh, also we are on social media channels. And um, so we are on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and uh, X. Um, and also we are on WeChat for those um, graduate, graduates based in China. Um, all the... Um, Username is Live Uni Alumni, but don't worry, we we will share all the hyperlinks, you know, like in the chat afterwards. Um, and also, if you have any questions, for example, um, you want to ask for the discount code, or um, you want to reconnect it with um, your classmate, or you want to, um, you know, do a reunion. So please feel free to contact us at um, alumni at Liverpool at AC liverpool.ac.uk, right?
Um, so Caroline mentioned this um, earlier. So for the graduation receptions, um, there's a couple of things um, have been confirmed. So minimum school receptions is in minimum school cafes. I think it's on the ground floor. And this is scheduled on Monday, the 9th of December from 3 to 5 p.m. And the education schools, so they, their reception is on the Tuesday, the 10th. Um, so it's from 11.30 to 1.30 at Federick's. So this is on um, Hope Street. And for other schools' receptions, and uh, the school will send you an invitation afterwards uh, very soon. So... Um, this is um, everything about the, your graduation and also beyond the graduation. So if you have any questions, please um, put the question in the chat box. I've already noticed there are a couple of questions. And I'll sh stop sharing my screen and then we'll go through the question um, then, okay? Right. So Ben asked, shall we bring our guests to the sports centre or send them direct to Philharmonic Hall? So um, you can bring your uh, family or friends um, in to the sports centre, and um, um, but they need to wait there for you to you know get dressed and collect um, your certificate and tickets. Um, and um, if you book ticket for them, they will be able to join the ceremony with you. But if not, for example, like um, if you have like extra guests, they can you can send them go to um, the student guild. Um, they can stream the whole ceremony over there. And um, we got uh, a question about photography. The graduation photography is that through Ad and Avon. Um, I think uh, Caroline, can you do you know this the answer for this one? Yeah, the official photography is booked through Eden Ravenscroft. Lovely, okay. thank you. Um, yes, uh, for the extra tickets, um, there's some limited extra tickets available on the day, and um, oh, I think. Oh, sorry, Lynn has already <laughs> responded to those questions. But yes, there's some extra limited extra tickets on the day, but you need to purchase them. But they are not they're not free, so you need to buy the tickets on the day. Um will this recording the recording of this webinar um and the slides will be yeah, we'll send the recording and the slides to you after. Um, the afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Can I just add it to Lynn here? Can I just add if anybody doesn't receive it, if they email me at my alternative email address, which is elearn at liverpool.ac.uk, I can ensure that they're sent. Thank you, Lynn. That's really helpful. What's your advice regarding wearing purpose at the graduation ceremony? Um, I think it's, it's this is quite like a personal choice to be honest. But normally, like um, the dress code is smart, smart. I think, um, and also like maybe you can check the color of your um, the what's the code the color of the 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 hood of the the gown, and then you can match the color if you want. Um, for the visa, is there provision? Prov sorry, I don't, I don't really, I can't really, I don't really understand the question um, in the chat box. Caroline, that's um. There's a question before your message. Sorry. A provision for visa. So I think um, yeah, the formal letter I think is available through Lynn. Um, is that right, Lynn? In terms of if someone needs to apply for a visa to come to the graduation. It's gra grad enc that gradenc at okay. uk that they need to um contact. Um, but if any of the information I'm giving out, if it, um people don't get then please just email me after this meeting and I'll make sure I answer everything. 
Brilliant, thank you. I'll just put that email address in the chat for you now, so that um, yeah, now to contact or, or uh, Lynn afterwards, and we can um, help you. Thank you, Caroline, Lynn, and um, thank you, Matt, for your suggestion. And uh, we'll consider this. on the spot. There's another question about the um, photography. Um, I'm not really sure about the answer. Caroline, are you, oh, Lynn, are you able to respond I, to this, please? I can answer that one. They can pre-book the photography, or um, there is a, a way that you can just queue up to get your photos taken on the day. But obviously, you need to make sure that you're still at the Philharmonic on time as well. Thank you, Lynn. Um, I don't think a uh, pre-book can skip the queue, to be honest. I think there's still going to be a queue. I, I think they, they're sent to a different queue, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, queue. thank the, you. The pre-booked ones, yeah. Lovely. Thank you, Lynn. Um, there's a question about um, to know where to contact for further communication. So what type of communication you mean? Is it to stay connected um, with university or create your Illumina account? Sorry, I can't see that question. Yeah, oh, that's I'll a question direct to me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I'll put our um, email, alumni email in and we can always refer any of to Lynn directly if needed. Um, and then we'll share the, the presentation will be shared from Lynn afterwards as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, um, Lynn, I think this is a question um, maybe you can answer. So um, they want to know, may I know where to contact in case of absence to a ceremony? Because this is a message direct to me and it's like it's not like a public message. So when you say an absence to the ceremony in case they don't yes. make the ceremony on the day? Yeah, I think the ceremony on the day. Yeah, if they can contact me, any queries regarding graduation on the day, because I'll be there handing out the tickets on the day. So, um, yeah, any queries, I'll have my email. I'll be able to answer them on the day as well. Lovely. Thank you. Is there any other questions? I wanted to buy my gong, but I'm just going to ask me for my phone address. Um, Lynn, for the gong, can they buy on the day or like they have to order it on the web page? Yeah, they can't buy on the day. It's only um, for hire on the day, but um, they will be able to purchase a gown afterwards as well if they wish to keep hold of a gown, but it will be after the graduation itself. They'll right. be able to um, contact Eden Ravenscroft regarding that. They'll be able to sort that out. Lovely. Thank you. Um, so, Lynn, Matt, Matt is asking, can you repeat your email, please? The email, what, what email? Yeah. Just... So, it's Elaine. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm on my phone because I couldn't get Zoom on my computer, so it's really difficult to type it. So, it's Elaine, E-L-E-A-R-N, and that's at liverpool.ac.uk. Thank you. Will I have tickets in advance if I want to send my mum direct to the Villa Home? No. Uh, no. I th yeah, the tickets, you have to collect it, I think, in person on the day. And also, um, like, you, you sell, need to collect these. And uh, you can't really send your parents or your friends. Yeah, well, the so, so can you hear me if I just talk? Yeah. yeah, so so I will because she can't walk very much, that's the problem. So, um, would I go to the sports hall two hours before, get my gowns, and then ask her to meet me for just like 30 minutes before we're going to the Philly Hall? And then I can meet her there and we can just go directly 
to the hall is that the way to do it or would she meet me outside the philly hall and then i arrive there with the tickets what's the best way of doing that if she if i don't want her to hang around with me for two hours at the sports center so yeah, yeah i can answer this if you need yes please thank you lynn so the best thing to do is you you personally have to be in the hall an hour before anyway um before your graduation so if you if if you go to the um fill with your mother There'll be somewhere for her to um, have a seat if she's really difficult of walking. You can come to the hall, get dressed and um, pick up your tickets and then go back to the fill and meet your mother with her ticket. You'll take yours to the front of the hall and your mother will be able to then find her seat. OK, thanks. Lovely. Thank you, Lynn. Um, is there any other questions? Yeah, sorry, I got tired of typing. Um, for the reception, can I take my mother there as well, as, or is that just for graduates? Yeah. Okay. And does that require a ticket, or is that, or is that your your ticket is the? Um, I don't think so for the receptions. Am no, that's that's correct. You can just turn up to the receptions. Okay. Right. Yeah, the reception is open to um, graduates and family friends. So, any other questions? No? All right. So, as Lynn mentioned earlier, um, if you email her, like we're going to send um, the recording and also um, the slides to you. And uh, also, I think Caroline shared a lot of like really useful links in the chat. So go through those um, those links and you can copy paste those links and then you'll be able to find those um, alumni related um, information on our web page. Um, if there's no more questions, then I think we're going to wrap up um, the webinar. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And um, um, many congrats. And um, looking forward to see you guys in person. As I said earlier, our alumni team going to be in the spot centre. So if you see me or Caroline or, you know, anyone from our team, please come over and say hi. Yeah. So hope you have a, a great time in Liverpool. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye.